Hey, what's up everyone? Vegetarian Zombie here. Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. When we last left off, I was stuck outside here trying to get it. Actually, I wasn't stuck out here. I just kind of ended the episode right here. Figured I might as well try to break my way in and say howdy to the local uh, dead people, if there are any. Here we go! Surprise! Ooh, we got a bookcase. Oh, shotgun schematic. Okay, so we're going to read that. Can never get enough schematics. Oh, don't punch that! What are you doing, man? And what else we got? Nothing! Great! This is kind of like a depressing studio apartment to live. There's not even a toilet. What do you do? <laughs> At least you got a sink. All right, let's check down here. Hey, man! Can I come in? Oh, come on! Can't believe my, my stone axe. All right, we're gonna get rid of this. And let's get another one. It's gonna be dark soon! Which means trouble! I love trouble. All right, we're gonna craft that. Oh. Zombies have the, I don't know what they're doing. They seem to have me uh, pegged right now. All right, let's come inside here. Far cheaper than trying to hammer through that thing. This is it? Ooh, what's this? Why, hello, my friend. This is like, what is this? How do you get in here? Uh. We're gonna put a gun safe here. Can you all uh, please uh, encase it with, uh, just encase it, not put a door here. <laughs> like, who designs this thing? This is kind of ridiculous. Uh, I think uh, whoever's designing these buildings needs a day off. Okay, what do we got in here? Can we get in through here? Oh God, guys, you're killing me. All right, so obviously we're gonna work on this for a little bit. But what I, what I don't want to do is get eaten alive, so, <laughs> you know, just one of my life, life streams right now. Okay, can we just put down the... Put it down! Okay, so obviously that's not a good idea. Put this one here. Why can't I... Is this like... What is going on here? Game, you're killing me! <laughs> Any case, guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well and life is treating you good. We are... This is just weird. I, I don't quite get this. This is like a weird block that is taking up this space here as opposed to that space. Doesn't make any sense. All right, we'll take that out right there. And, you know, I don't feel like doing that. All right, so let's now let's chop this thing down. Oh, chop. Break, break my way in is what I'm trying to say. There we go. This is how you get into gun safes. <laughs> now, uh, let's um, fast forward to me, uh, you know, 30 years later. Oh my God. This is gonna take a while, guys. Uh, looks like it's getting too late. Quick, get out. Woo -woo -woo -woo. <laughs> I'm sure no one will come in that way. <laughs> okay, here, let's put, what is going on here? Look at this. Uh, so I can place it here. I obviously can't place it here because this space here is taking up this block here. That's kind of, that's kind of ridiculous. Man, I don't like this. All right, let's come up here. So anyways, guys, I hope everything, everyone is being, uh, being well. Look at this, a diving board. <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, let's get back down. Wow. God. Ladders and, they're, they're, you know, there's no good ladders in first-person shooters. Oh, they're going to see me through here. And they're going to smell me because I'm carrying a pie. Oh, it's not smelling. It's not a smelly pie. All right. Let's get inside before before they come get me. The other thing we really need to do is working on our forge. And I think, I think that's kind of where I left off last time. Like, that's a pretty important project. So we'll see if we can, uh, during daylight, see if we can kill a bunch of animals. And of course, I gotta get my, I gotta get get our water supply going here. Now, if we have some time, let's see how much wood. We don't have much wood at all. I'd like to board this, this area up, just so that we can't be seen. Because what's gonna happen is they're gonna see me and they're just gonna, this is just, this is nothing. This is nothing to them, man. You don't understand. They don't stop. Now, my, my torch seems to be uh, nowhere to be found, unfortunately. So, if I have to... Uh, if this is looking a little bit bright, then that means I'm updating this in posts just so that you can see. And, you see, I'm having a hard time seeing right now. 
but I know where my toilet is. The question is, did I get a pot? Oh, look at this. This is unlocked. This is a really stupid idea right now. Thankfully, there's not a lot of zombies. On oh, look at that. See, if we kill that guy, that's gonna that's gonna fill up all we need to um, to get our bellows. Ah, scary music. Close the door. <laughs> All right, so we got this leather hood schematic, and uh, I guess we'll take the hat. Now, one thing I wish this game would do is implement a sleep mechanic, similar to Minecraft, because like, if you got nothing to do at this time, it's like, what are we doing? We're just kind of waiting around to the morning. That's never fun. Oh, well, I guess we can come in here, start like hammering on this thing. This is gonna take forever. Oh, unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, who puts a Minecraft? Who puts a mine a Minecraft? Who puts a mine in their closet? <laughs> that was uh, that was pretty shocking. It was pretty funny. All right, let's see. Uh, my poor wellness. I'm losing all my wellness, guys. All right. Let's, I, I just did not expect there to be mines in here. Hey man, can I, can I pick this up? Come on. How do I pick up this mine? I'm going to blow myself up again, aren't I? Is that a mine? I can't tell. <laughs> it's not saying anything. That looks like a mine. Yeah, I'm not going to do that again. All right. Well, the, while the night is still young, I will start... Hammering on this, um, on this gun safe. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Hopefully it will be worth the cost and blood that I used to get in here. And, uh, yeah, we'll jump to the morning. So, enjoy this brief cut while I wallow in tedium. Alright, here we are just chipping away the final edge of the safe. Turns out during the night I realized I didn't have much resources to make stone axes. Who would have thought? But thankfully I did find a couple of stones that I was able to make this one final axe. And uh, I gotta get some plant fibers also. So we got some resource gathering to do. But before we do that, let's see what's inside the safe. Ah, it's nothing. It's all crap. <laughs> shotgun receiver, shotgun, shotgun barrel. Mm, pistol parts. Remember the days of this game where you could actually, you know something, let's just put all this stuff back in there. Remember the when you would play this game and you could find actual completed weapons and stuff? Like, I know you can still do that, but it seems more of a rarity. Oh, so the mines evidently you can't pick up, and I think I remember reading about that in a developer interview, in that he ultimately, the, the lead designer, Joel something, Mad Mole wants the game to be more like, he wants it to be like a lockpick simulation, so if you wanted to pick up or disarm the mines, you could do that, but um, kind of stinks that you can't sort of get rid of them, especially if they're in your face! <laughs> Don't quite understand that. What's this? Oh yeah. This could be our bellows right here! Our forge is running away from us! Oh no, that's just a chicken. Well, I'll take that. Do we even have a bone? I got a bone to pick with you. All right, so let's take this. It's kind of weird that there's not a whole lot of zombies right now. Ah, give me feathers. Give me feathers. Oh, I love the feathers. Eh, you're dead. <laughs> Go away now. Uh, oh, a nail gun frame. Huh. Interesting. I've actually never built the nail gun since it's now this detachable thing now. I've, uh, I, I used the nail gun a lot back in uh, earlier alphas when you could just find it as a whole thing, but not anymore. I miss it. I miss the completed nail gun. It's so quiet here. This makes me worried. I'm also getting paranoid about landmines. I don't like that I opened up a door and walked stuff right on a Ooh, a bank. <laughs> Did I run through this bank earlier in the... Oh, there's our, there's our target. All right, let's see how many arrows we got. 15 arrows. And this time, guys, I can actually see my arrow con- Hey! Hey, man! And this time, guys, I can actually see my arrow count. 
We got one shot! Oh, I was just complaining that there was no zombies, and now they're everywhere! Where'd he go? Oh, this guy is... This, don't tell me he... Where'd he go? Alright, we need to... We need another buzz. What is that guy doing? Am I getting a little drunk? I feel like I'm getting drunk. <laughs> oh, no! I lost the deer. All right, we're gonna move up. Oh, what are you doing, man? You can't get inside there. <laughs> that was weird. That was like some bizarre zombie fetish thing going on. All right, quick, we gotta get in. Well, not gotta get in, we gotta get in the deer. <laughs> One. I think this is all we need. I am paranoid right now. Let's go! Whoa! Uh, <laughs> that body that I killed <laughs> freaked me out. I kinda love this game. It can really put the wheelies in you. Hey man, gotta go! <laughs> Look at all these idiots. Oh, I gotta love the beer. I think what they said the beer is just coffee with... I forget what it is, just like modified coffee. I don't know if you can get drunk off beer. I haven't really used it a lot. But man, in, in situations where you need it, it is just awesome. So I think they're going to be um, nerfing it in future updates. At least, you know, that's what my, my spidey senses are telling me. Or I think the developers talked about that. They got to really work on the pop-in. I gotta say, that's like the most jarring thing in this game from an immersion standpoint. Well, I mean... Well, I guess zombies jumping on your head isn't very immersive. Wow, get out of there! There we go. And I think, guys, I think we have enough to get our bellows started. So let's see, do I have all my... No. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna go get the bellows, or go get the animal skins, and we'll see if we can get those bellows started. All right, so we got the, there we go. We got bellows, look at that. Whew, all right, we got that building. Now let's see what we need to make our forge. Thank God we don't have to find a book for this. I don't know whose idea that originally was. You gotta find a book to make the forge. <laughs> that was just like, it became this, this game of luck, which was no fun at all. All right, so we're gonna need some, I think we're gonna need some plant fiber. So what are you talking about? I hit that grass. Grass game, you're cheating. All right, so we need to find some clay. And let's see. Oh, I'm getting tired again. I need some more beer. All right, so we're gonna make a shovel. Let's move. Hey, there's my crappy base. <laughs> Sightseeing with vegetarian zombie. Remember here when I was eaten alive in this base? That was such good times. All right, uh, can't stand still in this game. Alright, we're gonna keep on moving. I will uh, jump to when we find the clay. Exciting times ahead! Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, the clay is so good to me. Give me more- oh my god, I can't believe it. Alright guys, I'm gonna have another brew. I'll just sit back. Let me uh, I'm just too lazy guys. <laughs> I'm too lazy for the stamina. Oh, I should be drinking beer all the time, and I'm not talking about in-game. Look at this! This is great! So, we're gonna need a bunch of clay anyways. So, I'm just gonna collect a whole bunch of this. I mean, we need stuff for the actual base, but we also need it... I mean, we need stuff for the forge, but we need to put clay in the actual forge as well. All right, we got plenty, we got like 318 clay. What's really nice about the distant terrain is we can see a lake over there. So I'm thinking in the off game, like when I'm off camera, I'm gonna go out there and just fill up like, I think I have 40 water bottles. So I'm gonna fill all those up and then we're gonna have to ultimately boil them. Problem is right now is I don't think we have a pot. So we're gonna have to do a little looting too. But this is nice, by getting our forge now, we can get 
the, I believe it's not the, ooh, bird's nest. Give me some feathers, thanks. 14 feathers, what was that bird doing? <laughs> Probably had like a venereal disease or something. It was losing all its feathers. But what I'm thinking about doing is that we're gonna have to, oh God, I forgot my lot. Oh, we can make the, um, ooh, corn. We can make our iron tools, which will get us way on the road for getting to the iron, was it the steel age? That's ultimately what we're gonna get to. Okay, we're back in the base. Let's make our forge. There it is. You know something? I'm gonna put the forge down. Oh, you know. Maybe I'll just. What the heck? <laughs> Why do you have a ladder going up that goes nowhere? All right, we leveled up. Now look at this. So I'm breaking this, breaking into this weird little place here. But to me, this is like a perfect place for my forge. Now typically I would place it down on the ground near that, that campfire already in place. But the problem with the campfire is that on the ground level, this makes me like, this ground area, it just makes me feel really insecure being on the ground. Just how, because how easily those walls are to, to get in. So the zombies will just break in here. And at least up here, we have a fighting chance of, of dying a horrible death. And that's what I like to have. All right, let's place the forge. Bingo. All right, so we're gonna use this as our bug out area. In fact, I may consider this the main base. And um, maybe what we can do is find an alternative way to get in and out here. But I feel safe up here, being really high. <laughs> and to make this place a full ceremonial place, we'll add our gas barrel. Look at that, awesome. <laughs> I feel right at home. All right, guys. See, look at this. This is really a nice view. I really like it up here. In any case, guys, I think this is a great place to end the episode. We got our forge. We're well on our way to uh, make it a name for ourselves in this post-apocalyptic wasteland. In any case, guys, if you have any suggestions on what we should do next, feel free to leave a comment. If you liked the episode, hit that like button. And, of course, if you've been liking this content, feel free to subscribe, and uh, I'd certainly appreciate that. All right, everyone, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. See you then.